Thank God, amen, for this Sunday. Amen. Thank God for the Lord letting us come back together one yes. more time. Praise yes. the Lord. Amen. 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 Man, it's good to be back here yes. in God's house. Amen. If you've got your Bible, amen, turn to 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter. Praise the Lord. When you get there, I want you to say amen and let me know that you got the word of God and that you can read along with me. Second Timothy and the fourth chapter. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Powerful chapter. Powerful amen. chapter. Amen. And with God's help, I'm going to try to teach it. I'm going to try to preach it. If I help with God, give it to me so I can give it amen to you. Amen. Like you said, the pandemic should have grown folks to the church. Amen. 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 Folks are still scared to death for all the wrong reasons. Amen. Amen. If you're going to get scared, get saved. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. See, like the church ought to be full of folks. Amen. Yes. But where they at? Amen. My God. The church is responsible for a lot of things, saints of God. Amen. Amen. We're going to sit here and talk here in the book of Timothy, this fourth chapter, 2 Timothy. How bad is it? Just think about it. How bad, ask yourself a question. How bad is it? Especially when it comes to the church world. How bad is it? 2 Timothy here is going to let you know how bad things is. Right. Actually, when it comes to the church world, mm -hmm. the church world has a responsibility of relating the word of God to the people. Amen. Amen. But somehow it seems like the church world has drawn or withdrawn themselves mm -hmm. from giving people the word of God. Amen. That's Bible prophecy, though, right here in 17. You won't see it. It's something. Yeah, how bad is it? The church has stopped speaking sound doctrine. My Lord. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. That's how bad it is. That's mm -hmm. how bad it is that the church itself has allowed itself to let the enemy come in and stop them from speaking sound doctrine when it comes to the word of God. Mm -hmm. When it comes to teaching the word of God and giving an amen to the people. For some reason, it just seemed like uh, they just took themselves out of gear. You know, when you get in a car, you want to put it in, in gear to go forward and drive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now it seems like people are in reverse. Mm -hmm. They have withdrawn themselves and, and, and they can do it in special ways. Something they want to hear, something they don't want to hear. But actually, they just, from their own character, they just tell you what they agree with and what they don't agree with. Amen. Amen. They let you know what they're going to accept and what they ain't going to accept. Yes. My God, but Jeremiah said, be not afraid of their faces. Come on. <laughs> My God. When teaching and preaching this word of God, it's something else. Amen. Amen. How bad is it? It's so bad that the churches have stopped speaking sound doctrine. Amen. Let me show you something here in the Word of God, saints of God. You got your Bible, right? Amen. And you're reading along with me, right? Amen. Now, the first alphabet here in 2 Timothy, right here, the first verse, why did the first alphabet you see? Uh -huh. Describe it to me. Capital I. Don't move, Shabbat. Hey, look what it said. Cast your eye. Uh -huh. It means to get your attention. Look what it said. Now, help me out here now. You got your own Bible. You read it right. Amen. And look how the expression that Paul told Timothy when he told it to him. He said, I charge, Shabbat. I charge thee. Amen. My God. I know Shabbat. Look what it said. I charge thee. Yes. That's why I put Kevin in. And you put us in my Lord. 
Don't you underestimate what God trying to get your attention? What God trying to tell us as a church world? Look what God said, amen, here through the Apostle Paul when he wrote to his son Timothy. He said, now Timothy, this is what I'm telling you as being a, a pastor, as being, amen, a preacher, as being, amen, a pastor of the church. This is what I tell you. I charge thee. Yes. Mm. My God, my God. I can't get away from it. Stay there. You do not take this word of God lightly. This is why, look what the Spirit of God is saying to the churches out here. I charge thee. It's a charge. You got to get back on the job. You got to see what God is telling us. And this is what he said. I charge thee. I charge thee. I charge thee. Yes. Therefore, before who? God. I'm not just saying it toward the world, but this is what God wants you to do. This is what God trying to get you to recognize. This is what God wants to know to get back on the job. Amen. Therefore, I charge thee. Amen. Before God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who shall judge the quick and the dead? At his appearance and his kingdom. I'm going to teach it. Take your time. I, this chapter here, I don't know how far I'm going to get and how far I'm going to go. I can't get away from it. Stay right there. It's flashing, it's flashing. It's flashing before my eye. I charge thee. I charge thee. My, 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 my. Wake up, church world. Wake up. You got to get out of that reverse gear. That back and give, that drawing up give. You got to teach the word of God. You got to preach the word of God. You got to teach it according to the word of God. And the word of God is going to tell you how you should teach it. How you should preach it. It will let you know when you should preach it. It will let you know when you are not preaching. Amen. 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 It actually, they don't give no reason when you are not preaching. Amen. In season and out of season. Amen. Lord, that's what Lord, that ain't the time to say that. That ain't the time to preach that. There ain't no way he should have said this or that. But this word of God will have me no excuse. All right. Amen. Folks are dying, going to hell every day because you sit back with your opinion and think how things ought to be done and how things ought to be said. Mm -hmm. Amen. But here God talked to Timothy through the apostle Paul and the first thing he told Timothy said, look, get back on the job. You got to go warn these evangelists. You got to warn these bishops. Get back on the job. Amen. Teaching and preaching the word of God. I charge thee. Amen. Let's go read it again. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead. Uh-huh. At his appearance and his kingdom. God going to do all the judging saints. Yes, he is. But we need to stay on the job as long as God revive us and keep us living as saints of God. As you being Christian, you need to stand on God's word. You should always be ready to give an answer to everyone that asks of the hope of Christ that in you. You should be a witness everywhere you go. You yeah. should always be on the job telling yeah. the folks that Christ is soon to come back. Amen. Amen. I myself as being a pastor, I shall always be ready to give a word of God. Amen. Most of all, I should stand on the word. Most Amen. of all, I should say what does say the law. This Amen. word of God, first of all, beloved, it come to us as a individual. We should look at ourselves in the beginning. And that is to see how sound we are. Amen. In the word of God ourselves. Are we walking circumspectly ourselves? Are we taking care of what God is giving us? Now, do we value what we have on the inside of us? Now, yeah. Are we making sure that we walk in, yeah. in the footsteps of God? Now, yeah. Are we living holy ourselves? Amen. How sound are you? Amen. I know, I tell you, Saint, there's something else. 
have. Folks used to live holy. Mm. Some reason folks had that they live in it in every kind of way, but living the right way is folk call. First of all, how it sound of you. And when I ask the question, how it sound of you, you should know if you save or not. You should know if you live it right before God. You should know if you live it holy or not. How sound are you? This chap talked to all of us. But God talked here. Amen. To tempt it through Paul. Second verse. Oh, shy. Look what it said. Do what with the word? Preach. Preach. Come on, say it again. Preach the word. It's sad to go to church and the folk preaches. They talk about so many and everything. Talk about the three baths. <laughs> Going in law and everything. We, we need the word. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. We need the word. We need somebody to tell us about the word. Amen. Any church you go to and they can't say that about seeing you ain't had the word. Ah. Amen. Come on. Amen. That's why killing folk, that's what destroying folk, that's yes. what we were born in. You need to hear something about what's destroying you and what's killing you and what is the remedy. Oh my God, for oh. us to get on the inside of us to start sinning. Amen. 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 Preach the what? The word. Preach the word. How should I preach it, a uh, deacon? Sound. Sound and, and what it say, how? Instant season. Instant season. Woo! Ready. Be ready to give the word of God. Uh, be ready to preach the word of God. Uh, when should I be ready? Uh, be instant. It's a right now. Right now. Right now. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Preach the word. Be instant in season. It's read, it's a word spoken in time, it's a word spoken in season, it's a word being read at all times. You might not want to accept it, you might not want to hear it, uh, but somebody, beloved, wants to hear it. My God, the word you may think is not for you, but it's for somebody. So yeah. therefore, you got to preach the word of God in season. Amen. It's a ready word for somebody. It's for somebody. Somebody wants to get right. Somebody wants to be saved. Somebody wants to be delivered. Somebody wants to hear the word of God. How bad is it? My God. You go in the house of God and go to a church and you don't get the word of God. Church ain't a play place. Mm -mm. No. This thing is about your life. Amen. This is a hell and a hell thing. This is for real. Amen. This is an urgency that you be saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. These folk got in there trying to, ain't nobody trying to make you get saved. The word of God gonna condemn everything that ain't right no how. Amen. If you ain't right, you ain't living right, the word of God condemns it. Amen. Folks got to say so. That's all they do over there. They preach condemnation where well, y'all live something. Amen. Amen. I'm preaching the word of what the word said. That's right. Amen. Now, therefore, there is no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit of God. Now, if we profess to know Jesus Christ, now, if we live for the Lord, now, we ought to present him alive. Uh, yeah. So therefore, when the word of God comes forth, yeah. uh, we don't have to worry about being condemned. Come uh, on. Why? Because we trying to follow after the spirit of God. Yeah. Uh, and we trying to modify the deeds of the flesh. Yeah. Uh, we trying to do the will of God. Uh, yeah. We not trying to satisfy ourselves. All right. Amen. So therefore, you don't have to worry about being condemned. Amen. Amen. Guess what? And when the word of God find you, if you say like the Bible said, and it will find you, all you got to do is repent. Amen. Amen. Repent. Because mm -hmm. God knows if a man of God, a woman of God, bring that forth, that word like it ought to be to find you. Amen. And if you want to make hell in your home, you ought to be repenting. Amen. I preach and I'm repenting. Yes. Amen. Don't mean I'm sinning, but I'm still repenting. Amen. 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 Because Amen. I want to make sure to make hell in my home. They said, preach the word. I'm, I got to take my time. Y'all okay. with me? Amen. Amen. It, 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 it's a blessing I got away from the first bird. Ain't no way in the world you're supposed to walk all over that great big cow die. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you 
don't remember nothing else today, that's the first verse ought to come to your attention. I charge. You should be hollering all over the church, all over the world. Get right, church. Get right, church. Get right. I charge to get right, church. Get right. Mm -hmm. That's what it's saying. Amen. All them thousands of folks sitting up in church doing what they want to do, when they want to do it. But the Lord said, I charge to get right, church. Get right. Amen. My God. Get right before who? God. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearance and his kingdom. He's going to judge everything. Preach the word, something that is like that is going on now. You don't hear too much. It, it, look, I've only saved 43 years. And I can almost count the churches that I went to that I believe that were preaching the word. Hmm. That's sad. Amen. Amen. Some churches that I went to in my 43 years being saved don't even want to go back there. Because they didn't feed my soul. Mm -hmm. They were perpetrating and playing church. Mm -hmm. Hard behind the name of Jesus. Living any kind of way they want to live. And so I'm still got the churches up, still doing the same thing. But they're going to be judged. They're going to be judged. Amen. But the Lord said, I charge thee. Yes. You get right church, you better get right. You better be right before God when you stand before Him. Amen. Preach the word, he said. Look, be instant in season. Sometimes folks will just hold this for you do. Every time I turn around, you're trying to tell me this. Look, he said, be instant in season. When is there the right time or bad time not to say the word of God? Look what the next verse is. Out of what? Out of season. You don't want to hear it. You don't agree with it. You don't want to hear it. You don't think it's the right time. You ought not be saying nothing about the law. You ought not tell me nothing about it. Look, look, went to a funeral. This ain't the time to preach the word. This ain't the time to say nothing. You ought to be up there preaching on the Bible. But he did. Come on. She did, but you Real still live. Amen. You still got a hell and a hell to go to. All right. Amen. And folk got the nerve to be so presumptuous and say, this ain't the time. The Bible said preach it out of season when you think it ain't the time. Amen. And folks are dying every day. Amen. Every day. Folks still they repenting and coming to the Lord. I can say everybody. Some people don't repent. Thank God for that. But the majority of folks are repent coming to the Lord. Amen. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. No, what's the next one? Mm -hmm. Oh, reprove. I ain't got to this all yet. It said reprove. When things ain't right, you ought to speak up. Mm -hmm. You can't agree with everything that's going on these days now. Really not. These folks would get out here in the streets and, and march for anything they want to justify and they think that's right. They'll march up and down the street, tote signs and everything, and try to make you think wrong is right when wrong is wrong. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they fight for it. Don't you see them fighting for it? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. What are we supposed to do? We're approved. Mm -hmm. They don't like it. They got the gumption and the nerve enough to get out there and march and do it. Why you can't say it wrong? Come on. Amen. But you hold it back. You don't know what you stand for. How sound are you? All right. Amen. I tell you something there. It's a reproof. I know this chapter is power. Yeah. Rebuke. Before you reprove, it's a rebuke, Lord. And sometimes folk don't like being rebuked. Mm -mm. You give instruction. Some people take it and some don't take it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some people, it's a dangerous thing. Make it Holy Ghost. To try to reprove and rebuke scornful people. Mm. Amen. People that have scornful spirit, mean spirit, mm -hmm. hateful spirit, don't want to hear the truth and they'll do all in their power and their will to get you back. Amen. For telling them the truth. Amen. That's it. Amen. 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 The Bible said, reprove not a scornful person. Amen. Lest they come back to haunt you. You got to be prepared. And you got to be ready. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the Bible. Amen. Amen. 
That's why the church withdrawn. That's why the church, uh, instead of uh, sympathizing with folk that compromise, won't stand up on the word, won't preach the word, won't continue in the word. And some folk want to call themselves, yeah, the Lord called me to preach. The Lord called me to be an apostle. The Lord called me to be a minister. You can't tell folk the truth. He ain't called you to do nothing. Come on, Amen. come on. But sit back and let sit somebody down. teach you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because when you get up here, you got to cry down and spell Amen. nothing. Amen. This is about soul saying. Amen. Amen. I know it's, I, I'm going to try to take my time. Y'all looking at me strange. Oh, and I know y'all know me. Yeah. Amen. Because that's what the word do. That's Amen. how the word affects you. The word, what? It, first of all, examine yourself. Amen. I don't care how hard I'm preaching. I'm looking at myself first. I'm telling it to myself first. Mm -hmm. I'm telling, look, watch it myself. I'm reproving myself. I'm rebuking myself. Well, man, I'm oh, still at number two. Okay, uh -huh. resolve. It comes a time you do have to resolve. Amen. Uh, look, sometimes it's good to get up here and say, "Look, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. Keep going your way. Stay in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Keep living holy for the Lord. Keep living righteous for the Lord. Be pure for God. The Lord can keep you." Oh, shall I deny, deny his altar? Amen. Amen. I told you to stay in the way. Amen. Stay sound in God. My no shabba my heart. Stay sound in God. But when folk want to do their best, they get up and do it. You ain't got to be scared of defense. You ain't got to be with the devil one moment and then with God. You ain't got to be scared of defense. You better stay sound. It's something else. It's an exalt. That ain't let me all that talking about is encouraging the folk. Let them know they're doing a good job. Stay in the Lord. And when you see other folk, help folks all you can and stuff. Push folk to live safe. Push folk to live holy. Push folk to live righteous before God. That's where the downfall came in the church. We that prepared to have the gospel won't live what we supposed to live like we ought to. And get out here and bring a lot of hang up in the church. And hinder folks from the gospel because we won't continue to be all right and we do the gospel ourselves. Then it said, with what? All long suffering and doctrine. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That means endure with people all the way to the end. That means you're going to see their downfall, you're going to see their ups and their downs, you're going to see their good, you're going to see their bad. But in the heart, if you're a child of God, if you love God, you still going to pray for them and you're going to pray that they come out of the thing that they're in. You're going to pray that God deliver them and the Holy Ghost will tell you how long should you do it. It should be long suffering. That means to bear with a person. Even though you see they're right and wrong, that they do love, color, a mother to a sin. Yes, God will give you wisdom and learning how to win their soul. My God, if you live righteous and holy, my God, to those that are inside and outside, sometimes you don't have to say a word. Amen. Just live holy around them. Uh -huh. I, they take a good look at themselves. Uh -huh. I, and look at you. Uh -huh. I, according to the book of Titus, uh -huh. I, it tells you to give them sound doctrine. Uh -huh. I, sound doctrine which cannot be condemned. Uh -huh. uh, anything of the contrary uh -huh. shall be ashamed. Not because they took a good look at it. Yeah. Not your holy walking with God. Yeah. And all they got to do is continue yeah. to keep their eyes on you. Yeah. Not because they can't spot your life. 